Hello friends, welcome to Amazoft Webcast. In this video tutorial, we are going to see disk management in Windows Server 2016 using SAW Manager Console. You can also use disk management snap-ins to graphically manage all disks attached to your server. For this demo, already I attached one new disk to the server 2016 with a size of 100 GB. In the first step, we are going to open SAW Manager Console and to do that, click on SAW Manager icon on the taskbar. On SAW Manager Console, click on File and Storage Services, then click on Disks. Under Disk pane, you can see all disks attached to this server. In our case, we have a total 2 hard disks which are attached to this server. Disk 0 with the size of 320 GB and Disk 1 with the size of 100 GB. When we first install Windows Server 2016, the hard disk on which we install Windows is set up as a basic disk. When you add a new hard disk to your computer, this disk is also recognized as a basic disk. After installing a new disk to server, you will need to ensure that the disk is configured with the appropriate partition table. And as with previous versions, Windows Server 2016 includes two partition styles, MBR and GPT. But on SAW Manager Console, you can only configure GPT partition table for the disk. There's no options to select MBR partition style on SAW Manager Console. So once you attach a new disk to your Windows Server, your first step is to initialize that disk. So in our case, we have attached disk 1 with the size of 100 GB and we want to initialize that disk. So for that, right click on the disk and select initialize the disk. It will give you one warning or reminder that uh, performing this operation will erase all the data stored on this disk and initialize this disk as a GPT disk. It will also tell you that before initializing this disk, back up any data that stored on this disk if you want to keep that data. But for us, we do not need to take backup of data as there is no data or partition on that disk. Select yes to continue. And as you can see, now disk 1 is initialized with GPT partition style. Once disk is configured with partition style, you can create volume on that disk. So let's create one volume on our disk 1. Here you can see we do not have any volumes currently created on disk 1. You can start a wizard by clicking over here. You can right click on disk and then you can select new volume or you can select under task, select new volume to create a new partition. I'm going to click on this to create a volume, start the new volume wizard. Click on next. Now we want to create a volume on disk 1, that's why I will select disk 1 and then click on next. This console asks you to specify the size of the volume. In our demonstration, I'm going to create a volume of 60 GB. Let's click on next. This console asks you to assign a drive letter or um, folder to mount this volume. We are going to select drive letter and from here I am going to select drive letter H. Let's click on next. Now here it is asking us to specify the file system to format this volume. We are going with the default selection. File system will be NTFS and let's assign a new volume software and that will be a new volume label for this volume. Let's click on next. And let's click on create to create this volume. Okay, let's click on close. And let's again select disk 1. And here you can see we have a one volume with drive letter H with the size of 100 GB. Available space is 59.9 GB. Let's select the partition and uh, right click on it. Here you can see several options are there. Like if you want to create a new share on this partition, you can select new share. If you want to scan for file system or error, you can select these options. If you want to change the drive letter or if you want to mount this partition into any NTFS folder, you can select these options. If you want to format this partition, you can select format options. If you want to extend this volume, you can select extend volume. Remember, there is no options to shrink this volume on SAW Manager console. If you want to shrink the partition, you have to use disk management snapping. Here we have options to delete the volume. But let's select extend volume to extend the size of this volume. Let's specify the new size. I'm going to give a size 80 GB and that will be a new size of our volume. Let's click on OK. And here we go. Now you can see a total size is uh, 80 GB. 
Let's open File Explorer. Okay, let's click on this PC. And here we can see this is your partition which we created using Saw Manager Dashboard. If you want to mount this partition in any empty NTFS folder, you can do the same. Let's open C drive and let's create one folder. So we want to mount that volume into this folder, name folder. Let's minimize this. Let's select our partition and that is uh, edge. Right click on it and select manage drive later and access path. Let's click on browse. Click on C drive. Select folder. Select folder and click on add. If you want to change the drive later, you can select from here. And if you don't want to assign drive later, you can select none options. Let's click on OK. And let's come back to File Explorer again. And here, this is the our folder. Now it is showing as a shortcut to any volume. Let's double click on it. And here you can create a folder as per your requirement and you can store data as per your requirement as well. So this is the way how you can create and manage partitions from Saw Manager console. That concludes the video demonstration on disk management using Saw Manager console. Thank you all for watching this video.